the most impressive rooming houses I've ever seen. Uh, couldn't even see it from where I was. I've, I've come, I don't know, a fair few miles out of my way. And then I see that. Don't even know how I got here. <laughs> Because there weren't nothing, there weren't nothing uh, to say I was anywhere near it. Even Google Maps said I was miles away. And then again, it did say Bradgate House. Perhaps this isn't Bradgate House, perhaps it's Bradgate Stables. As you can see, there's shed loads of scaffolding par, up, bar, um, bar holding it up. Such a shame. So it's an historic building and it's wrecked. I love this dry stone walling. You wouldn't have thought dry stone walling would have been around Leicestershire. You're usually quite happy to see barbed wire fences. But that sort of, I don't know, wets my whistle. Can't wait to see what's in store in there. This puts me in mind of the old um, Hansley Hall up near where my local area Edwardian Tudor, Edwardian no not Tudor, probably Edwardian Victorian Look at that window. They're all carved out of sandstone. And I bet you if you were to see some of the other surfaces of that, being as it's so intricate, it'd have mason's marks on it. This here looks low enough to be an ice house. Not sure whether it is. I'll go take a look. It's arch ceilings, it's the same as an ice house. That's the door, maybe. It's full of water. What's this unusual? Unusual thing here. It's a piece of slate by the look of it. And the more I look at this, the more I say it's either an ice house or a cesspit. I don't know where that torch. Does it justice, but. It's got a dome roof like an ice house. It's got a door like an ice house. I wonder how far it goes down. If it is an ice house, there should be some steps over there where the door is that lead down, because that's how they used to build them. And it's much lower than the house. So I'm assuming at some point this was covered in soil because saw is a really good insulator. And uh, it helps keep the ice in. I would have thought it might have been, but usually if there's an ice house, there's usually a brook or river nearby. That's the only reason that it might not be an ice house. There's usually a brook or, because obviously they need to get ice in the winter. So um, they need somewhere local to them so it freezes up so they can get the ice off it. That my friend there, I'm not sure whether it's a well, but I don't know whether you can see my walking stick. It's way down and I can't feel the bottom. 
Not sure whether it's a well or just drainage. Could be either. One of the things I've come here specifically to see is um, is the gatehouse. I think I'm on the wrong side. That's one of the main things I'm here, and the impressive coat of arms. It's on the gate house. impressive tower and a man built this here just resources Lord Samsford or something like that Samford I can't remember that my friends there Coat of arms, that is phenomenal. I don't know whether you can see there's a round circle. I think that might have been a clock, but I'm not 100% sure. Just astounded at the architecture. Apparently, this house, this lavish, lavish stables, was built for Lord of Stamford. It's something to do with hunting, which is where I'm right. Because at one time, Bradgate, Bradgate, Bradgate House was the uh, was built as a deer park, and it cost an estimated. Thirty thousand pounds in well, well before 1856, because in 1856 it was made. It was made. Um, it was made master of the corn hunt. So this big house you can see there is where he obviously used to just keep his horses. Can you imagine a cost of £30,000 to build it? Well, I don't know whether you can see the oak trees. I'm assuming they look old enough to be the original trees that was on the side of the road. Or, or side of the driveway, should I say. The one thing with the Victorians is they had to impress and uh, apart from the cows in the distance that are looking at me that gateway up there goes all the way to the A50 I'm, I'm assuming there's trees or there was trees all the way along it that there is the door I'm assuming it you must have had a huge wooden door at some point. Wow, that's a good walk round. I've actually found a way in. I think. <laughs> I 
cobblestones on the floor. You see that? I'm assuming these were the stables. They look big enough for horses. This is where his stable hands lived. Wow. See there, cast iron. Cast iron pillars supporting that big beam up there. And pallets and pallets of bricks. Perhaps he's out for it yet. Perhaps somebody might decide to preserve it a little bit more. And it's starting to rain and my coat's in the car and my car's about two mile away. Great. Well, it was a nice day this morning when I come out. Not so nice now. impressive I don't know whether I dare go too far up though Obviously people have been here because of the vandalism. Raven. That's it, that's as far as I'm going. Now, 
is another staircase. The other side too. Well, I don't know how that's going to be. We can go and take a look. Looks like a sandstone pillar there, look. Balustrade. like a cellar. Yeah, the stairs are accessible on this side as well. It's a bit worrying that there's a cellar underneath me. And that looks like it's the way down to the cellar. some idea of the architecture. Scaffolding doesn't do it much justice but it's still an impressive structure. More defacement. Why do we do it? Well, if I was brave, and about 20 years younger, I'd be trying to climb that scaffolding pole, but that's not, I'm not that adventuring type anymore. Might have been when I was a kid, I'm not now. Simply too old for this malarkey. Definitely too old. More defacement. Look. I wonder whether that's the original paint that's still on there. You never know. It's rendered. I don't know whether it's modern rendering there. Could well be. If that was a, that looks like it's deliberate. That paint that goes up there. Oh, it definitely looks like steps down to there. I 
I've got to go have a look in any case, even though I poke my head in with the torch. Are these impressive floor tiles, obviously the originals. Red and slate. Red clay, maybe, maybe buff, same stuff to make blue bricks out of, not 100% sure. Not a very big cellar. And there's a cellar. And that, my friends, is a toilet seat. Perhaps it's not a cellar. Perhaps it's a latrine. Nice domed roof, though. That definitely is an old-fashioned toilet seat, though. I'll go and see it. Oh, that's going to be one last look for this cellar bit. Uh, I think it might have been a little thing, but I'm not 100% sure. That says it all there. In the early days, in Jordans and Victorians, there was just um, wooden seats put over a big hole. I'll try that again, shall I? As I say, in, in uh, I say that's definitely a. Uh, toilet seat. As I say in Georgian times and Victorian times the seat was just a wooden platform put over an hole and I'm sure this may or might have been a latrine with all the side bits maybe. It's the outside window. Maybe it was just down. Me personally, I think that's disgusting. They're the old bricks that was round the outside. Somebody's made a fire pit out of them. And use some of the old slate, which probably or could have been part of a door. Disgusting. There you go. You know that down there. Thicker than draining pipe. I'm hoping it wasn't one of the 
Georgian chimneys. Oh, my battery's running out. That's why I've took three takes. I hope that's not what it looks like. It could be could be drainage pipe, could be a Victorian or Georgian chimney. I'm going to save this quick, then I'm going to quickly copper squat somewhere and change my battery. Right. And let's go and walk over towards these pillars. Cast iron. Perhaps it was cheaper to do them from cast iron than stone. Obviously they might have been painted at some point as well. Now I found some more then. Over here. So one can assume that there's, there's two more pillars over that side and they've moved them over here. Also these look like the cobbles that might have been in the yard all over this bit. over this bit here and I've also found another tower huh? looks like old gas pipe there perhaps it was perhaps it had gas at some point because I did use gaslighting. I don't even know when it went derelict. You know. <clears throat> Could be gas or water. What that way? Should go over there. Drain pipe maybe. Got her in. Up there. Needs to put some sort of reef on that bit. And it's been whitewashed. Oh, I've braved it. I've sat down. You can see where I am level with a with a beam. But that's as far as I'm going, folks. Part of a semicircle window there, perhaps there was an hallway. Well, it seems obvious there was an hallway from this set from there to here. It's been loving it here, it's really quiet and peaceful. You know, when you get to certain places and you can sit for hours and just listen to the countryside. I do like that. Not a soul round, nothing. It's really good. Well, there's another. Ooh. Oh, I don't need to watch myself. I think they're definitely cobbles. They're all over the place. 
And it looks like they've been dug out of the ground. video about the Moorwood Blast Shelter is where they uh, got co made cobblestones many many years ago that quarry there in any case not necessarily the cobbles for here but that's where they made them this tower is in far worse condition than the other one. Because there's no roof. No safety railing either. And that's where I was sitting earlier on. I'm not going to sit down here because there's bramble and everything. Ooh, I'm really glad I bought my walking stick. I'm definitely too old for this malarkey. But as I can see, I've seen better days, all my little badges are coming off. All over the country I've been with this. It served me well. The biggest mistake I did was doing all the badges in a line because it weakened the wood and made it crack down all the nail lines. So, next water in, walk wind stick, I guess. I shan't do that. I shall put them alternate like I did at the bottom when I learnt that's what the problem was. There you go, the they are, the cast iron pillars. That's the other end of them. I don't think I'm going to be able to get into there. Perhaps it was where some sort of statue was. Perhaps you need to come and do it in the winter. It's a bit overgrown. There'll be plenty of blackberries though. You can tell how long these bags have been here. They're all corroded. That was before the internet. Right, so I'm going to sit for five minutes, probably end the video. I met my way back to the car. It was interesting. I think next time I do an explore like this, though. Somebody's been around here with a metal detector. I hope not, because that's against the law. There's a few little sods of earth been dug up. A metal biome. Yes, I think somebody's metal detected here. Very naughty, whoever you are. See if I can get a close-up of this. Red Adam will know it's gone. Mm. 
you know, it's a funny thing. This ivy actually sometimes preserves it. Stops them from falling down. Can you see all the ivy? I know it digs itself into a wall, but if you pull it off, the odds are the wall's going to come down with it as well. Interesting fact. I think that's the base. Is that sandstone or concrete? I think these are the bases. Definitely the bases to the other pillows. And up there, in the hole in the wall, is where the main beam come from. Obviously the pillars go on to here. Okay, supporting that big beam, which has got to be one foot by maybe 18 inch by a foot. To support the main floor, which is obviously above this. So there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, and if you had them sort of beams on it, which it looks like they did, that was some main floor it was supporting. And there's only two of them left there. Wonder what happened to the others. I think that may have been some sort of water feature. Or where a statue was. That's what it reminds me of. This could be Tech drying room, maybe. I'm assuming at some point that wall there went along here to here. I think that's what horse people call it, tack. And it was a drying room because it's very small. It's only what? I don't know. 15 foot by 12 foot and it obviously goes all the way up to there you can still see bits of the old plast up there in the corner so it was high roofed and that was obviously another floor this is unusual this is all slate slate and they're screwed into the slate just there it's perhaps just there is perhaps something where they used to tie the horses to and there And there. Get close to that actually. Don't need to point. And one here. And it looks like there should have been one there as well. I don't think they're slate doors. Oh, that's got the key marking like the other one. Except on the other bit, the key mark's not there. I 
Well, this definitely makes me think this is a stable block, because I'm assuming that thing there is a drain. Obviously, they need to muck them out, and the horses need somewhere for the urine to go, so I think that's probably it. And it actually feels Wow. And I can't, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it seems to slope up towards from here up to that wall. seems to slope up from here, up to that wall, and from here, over to there. From here, over to there. So it definitely was a stable, and the sl obviously sl little slope on the wall was to help the urine disperse and go down the, uh, the hole. And that now brings through to this point here. If the stables were there, and look at the size of that door then this would obviously be the tack drying room where they used to dry the tack or do the or you know whatever do the horse sheets horse blankets whatever they used to use another fireplace this side look You gotta do it, don't you? See an outside window. It's obviously a landing. And this is obviously a door. So if this was a bit drier, I don't think there'd be much chance of me getting up here. Or even down it for that matter. See all the little bits of lime water. Going down. I think these are definitely the stables and the middle parts the drying rooms. There's more of these. They are definitely stables. Or well, that's just proved it. That's the slate. That's the back wall of the stable. And that there is a separating wall. So this is where the stables were then. Well, I'm glad that pack's gone. I'm assuming if we look in between all the other bits of slate. That'll be brickwork or the ruins of brickwork. 
Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like there was something cut into the wall there. Obviously there's a reason the stair here, yeah, that's definitely proof. There's another bit there. Obviously that is the remains. That there is the remains of the metal that used to separate them. I wonder what these key things are then. Key shapes. That looks like a ridge tile, maybe, or Jesus. Oh, where the level of the floor come up to act as a gutter. Thing. God, if that's made out of clay, that's impressive. Ah, oh yeah, what skill do you need to fire something like that? Oh, it's a bit loose. Perhaps it's a coping stone or part of the gutter, maybe. Well, at least I know where the stables were. So the rest of it might have been where is... Um Stable lands used to live, maybe. In any case. Okay, peeps, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tour of Bradgate Stables. Don't forget if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Thank you.